Hey gang, this is Mrs. Reed, and I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Olin Jones. We call him OJ for short. He is an organist, uh, and he's going to tell you a little bit about the organ that is at St. James Episcopal Church in Leesburg. Take it away, OJ. Okay. <coughs> for, uh, in order to introduce the organ, I'm going to show. Uh, I'm going to use this instrument, which you probably know, the the recorder, um, to to illustrate how pipes work. Um, a recorder. I don't know if you could see this. How, how this happens is you know, wind goes through here, and it's focused on this what's called an upper lip. And what happens is that upper lip disturbs the column of air, which makes that column of air vibrate, and it's that vibrating column of air which makes the sound. So you got, which is basically a whistle. And uh, we can change the pitch of that whistle. In other words, whether it's high or low, we can change that by, by changing the length of the air column. And um, now, right now, the air column's about that long. Um, and on a recorder, you change that by covering up these holes. So now the air column's that long. Now the air, air column is that long. And then now the air column is that long, which makes it lower and lower. And like any other musical instrument, like a vibrating string, a vibrating column of air, a vibrating piece of metal, a vibrating piece of wood, uh, a vibrating diaphragm like a drum, the longer the vibration, the medium, the, the, the lower the sound. So, so the longer, the, okay, the longer the tube, or the longer the air column, yes. the lower the pitch. All right, exactly. remember that, so, guys. So um, we start, you know, here's, here's, the, here's the whistle I just did. You know, uh, but I can make it longer. These organ pipes, can you? Yes. Look at these things. It's just uh, a the, bunch the of whistles. The longer the pipe, of course, the lower the sound. And not all these pipes are out here in front, some of them are back in the case, and what, what the case does, and we're going we're to go back and look in the, into the case, but what the case does is help focus that sound so that it all comes out as one unified sound. But um, here we go, Here's, let's, let's play some of these. See, it's just a whistle. I'm going to show them the keyboard too. Okay. And then, but, you know, like I said, the longer the column of air, but the longer the pipe, the lower the sound is. So you get down here. Now that pipe is about uh, four feet long. Oh, really? I thought it would be longer than that. Wow. Well, no, hang on. That's all right. And these, when you get up the top, these are tiny. I can't tell you how long these are. They're tiny. Wow. We, we, we're going to look in the back of the case in a few minutes. Okay. So, um, now that's an example of one set of pipes. Um, I'm going to ask you to turn the camcorder off and I'm going to take the camcorder and I'm going to have you explore the pipes. Okay. Okay. Ms. Reed, we yeah. have some organ pipes here. Pick up that, for, there we go, and go ahead and blow on it. Do I blow it up here? No, no, no blow down, it down okay. there. The, yeah. is cool. Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. It I'll, says viol. I, I will tell you about that in a moment. Okay. Uh, oh, no, let me tell you about that now. This is called a, uh, a viol, a uh, solitional, actually. It belongs to a, a, a group of pipes called the strings, which are meant to imitate orchestral strings like violins and violas and things like that. But it, that is a sub, um, subcategory of a, a, a set of pipes called the principles. And the principle is the main organ sound. Wow. So that, that is kind of a principle. Yeah, it does 
doesn't take much air to do that, does it? No. Yeah. No. About as much air as it takes to blow into a recorder. Yeah. Now, here, there's the next, next set of pipe. This is a flute. Flute pipe. This is called a roar fluta or a roar flute. Which sounds different. They're designed to imitate the sound of the orchestral flute and, and like sounds. And um, if you can put those two pipes down, I'm going to ask you to... I want you to look at these in. There's some differences between these two pipes. These two? Yeah. Number one, this one is cylindrical. In other words, it is the same width from here to here. It's cylindrical. It's like a big cylinder. So that's kind of like a clarinet. A clarinet is cylindrical, yes. sort of. This one, however, is conical. You notice it's tapered on the end? And that's one of the ways you can um, change the sound of a particular pipe. See, it's smaller up here than it is down there. And I I'm going to stop you for a second because I'm curious. Okay, that... let, me, let me get back to that. Okay, okay, you'll get back right, to it. I'll get All back right, to so that. it's narrower here, broader in the middle. This one's the same <clears throat> at this end and in the middle. Yeah, now there's another difference, and I hope we can see that. Lay this back down. Okay. Let me show you this. Do you notice the difference in the coloration of the metal? Yeah, this one These looks like metal. it looks like it has scales on it or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mottled. And, mottled. And the other one is not. It's shiny. Okay, that's because organ pipes, the, the metal pipes are made of a metal alloy. An alloy is a combination of several metals. In organ pipes it's it's uh, usually a combination of tin and lead, which oh. are and, and which makes them rather delicate, so don't go jerking those around. Um, but uh, sometimes zinc, and in, in rare cases, copper. Uh, usually the copper pipes are reserved for something that shows, something you can look at. But, but uh, that's another way that the, uh, the pipe can be made to sound different. Now this other one, this is a wooden flute. This pipe is made out of wood. And, go ahead. Can you see that? I don't know what that is. Okay, I'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the difference, the obvious difference between these two is that this one is wooden and that one is metal. But there are other uh, differences also. Um, the shape? For, well, the shape, of course. The shape always makes a difference. Um, did you notice that it took more air to make this pipe sound? I noticed it took more air to make the pipe sound. I'm yes. blowing with some force. Yes, the, this this came out of an organ that that was uh, winded at a higher Play pressure. The, uh, the, the, the metal one, one more time. No, the the flute. The flute. Now the the wooden one. Okay, notice one other thing, and that is, even though this one, the wooden one is shorter, it's it makes a lower sound. Oh! And that is because of this stopper in the end. This stopper? Bec yes, that stopper in the end, this which makes it sound basically twice as long as a, a, a metal, an open pipe. And I'm going to stop it for a second and, ex and say that we have an instrument called boom whackers, okay. and there's a cap on it called an octavator cap, yes. and it makes it sound an octave lower. So I'm thinking this is the same what kind it of does, idea. What it does, it's the same idea. It, 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 it doubles the, the length of, of that vibrating uh, stream of air. That's cool. And, now, and you ask about the stoppers and stuff like that. When one, you know, these, these pipes are cut to to length to make a specific pitch and the way these things are tuned for for a, a wooden pipe you just move the stopper the, the, the whoever tunes the organ tunes the stopper uh, moves the stopper up and down now this one yeah um, it looks like a I'm sure you guys don't even know what a tuna can is but it's just kind of a roll down piece of metal um, and what it does is it, it fine tunes that. There, there are a lot of things that affect the tuning of an organ pipe, including uh, heat, uh, 
heat of course makes metal expand and cold makes it contract and uh, humidity especially in the case of, of, of uh, uh, wooden pipes and this one works with a slide right, so you can play with right that here? slide yeah this you can slide. play with it oh I see okay yeah and that's how the organ tuner tunes it I see like that yeah okay and you can play with it and Sure, I can play with it. I'm so strong. Well, it's there. tough. It's supposed yeah. to last for, you know, yeah. Forever. But you could, yeah, <laughs> theoretically. But um, <laughs> now I, I showed you on the recorder that, uh, you know, you change the length of the, the tubing to make different pitches. Okay, we have a, a keyboard over here. This keyboard, which in organ terms we call a manual, has 56 keys. That means that there are 56 pipes that are cut to a specific length for that one stop. It's called an STOP, stop. And so, and there are 56 of those. Now that's, uh, and we talked about flutes. There are other sounds on this keyboard. Here's a flute. And then, well, that's a big one. Yes, the longest pipe here is about eight feet long. And uh, there are other kinds of stops. In fact, let, let me hand you the camera back, and, and you can. Okay. So your your fingers over the. Oh. There we go. We just did this one, and we did this one already. Here's another one. This is another flute. Notice they play at different pitches, though. Oh. Ooh. And then there's some stops that play. And this, this uh, uh, one, when one plays a key, what you do is open a valve underneath that pipe that lets it sound. And in some cases, you open a valve that lets three and maybe four pipes sound at the same time. Now, you never use that all by itself. That's, that's to be added to an ensemble. Is it kind of like the harmonics? Wow. And then there's this one more stop, and I'll show you that in the back of the organ, called a reed stop. I, mean, I'll, I can do this on the, the computer, but when I show you the, here's how reed pipes work. Um, there's a boot which contains what's called a shallot. A shallot is not unlike a clarinet or a, a saxophone mouthpiece and it has a reed attached to it a, a, a brass reed in fact I have one that's what the reed looks like it's just but it but the wait, air wait. Okay. I can't see that thing let's see get the there we go it's very, very thin, boys and girls. Yes, it's like it is. a strip. It's just like a it's thinner a strip than a band-aid. Yeah, it's like yeah, it a. It is. Okay. Yeah, and, and that causes that to vibrate. And um, <clears throat> that sound, that, that's what makes the sound in a reed pipe. And uh, so we have a, a reed stop here. <laughs> which reed stops are used generally to imitate sounds in the orchestra like trumpets and trombones but also reed instruments like clarinets and bassoons and oboes and things like that <laughs> they're they're generally much louder stops than the flu pipes which is what we've been talking about so far um kind of like the difference between perhaps uh a brass instrument or, or even a clarinet compared to an, um, a recorder. Exactly. Because exactly. a recorder is much softer. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, um, I'm going to ask you to turn that off. We're going to go explore the back of the